Well, we do have a couple of updates from the uh, Rust accident Mm. over with Alec Baldwin. Uh, He did stop to speak to paparazzi on Saturday that had been following him and his family while they've been sort of laying low in Vermont. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, Yeah, well, I'm glad they stopped calling it a prop gun. It took them like... Uh, a week to stop calling right. a gun that had a bullet in it that Killed shot somebody. somebody a prop right. gun. Right. Because there are prop guns. That's kind of the like problem. Like a cap gun or... Yeah, they're blanks. They, right. they don't... The, the bullet... They look like a gun right. works. A, a, a full-size regular bullet doesn't fit in the chamber. Got it. It hangs out. <laughs> yes. Well, it appears that Alec decided to pull over on the side of the road after being tailed, and he answered some questions in the hopes of having the paparazzi leave him alone afterward. He answered all their questions. So I have a 60-second clip. It's like a three-and-a-half-minute video. In this clip, you'll hear Alec trying to explain. There is some street noise, of course, behind him, while also so, sort of asking his wife, Hilaria, to kind of like let him handle it. Uh, here's the clip from TMZ. We were a very, very, excuse me. We were a wow. very, very Woman there's a more. well-oiled Got in crew space. shooting a film together. And then this horrible event happened. Now, I've been told multiple times, don't make any comments about the ongoing investigation. And I can't. I can't. I can't. That's uh, it. And you met what are the... Sorry. What are the questions that you have other than that? You met with the... Uh, the, the, the um, this woman keeps wandering into the shot. You met with her family? Uh, Helena. Yes. Her name is Helena. Husband. If you're spending this much time waiting for us, you should yeah, know, know her, her name. name. Her name is Helena. Helena Hutchins. I met with her husband, Matthew, and her son. Yeah, that's right. And uh, how did that happen? Uh, I wouldn't know how to characterize. They're, 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 they're you, mortified. You guys, you guys, you know what? No details. I'm going to ask you a question. Wow. Well, I appreciate that he was probably very upset. The, 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 the guy is overwhelmed with grief. This is something that, that you know, there are incidental oh boy, accidents car stomping. Oh uh, boy. on film sets uh, from time to time, but nothing like this. This is a one in a trillion episode. It's a one in a trillion of them. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what happened to Hilarious Accent? Oh, <laughs> the lid was blown off she that. She let it go. go. She yeah. let that one go? Yeah. 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 You know, yeah, I don't know. You know, the more the more I think about life, you know, it's kind of interesting because in the day, years ago, if you said to a kid, young kid, boy or girl, uh, what would you like to be when you grow up? The, the answer might be some jobs, doctor, mm-hmm. lawyer, whatever, but Eventually, they started just cutting out the middleman and going, I'd like to be rich. Because mm-hmm. they went, well, why get embroiled in the details sure. of how I'm going to get rich? I'll just go, I'll skip ahead to rich. You know, recently, they got rid of rich and they went to famous. Yeah, yeah. now it's influencer or I YouTube be star. Famous. Right. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we better shift back to rich. Uh, do, do you want to be famous? Because right. I would like to have, for my child, I would like them to have... Alec Baldwin's income, mm-hmm. but not the rest of what goes along with, with right. that. So I'd like you to be rich, but not famous. You know who famously said that many years ago? Steve Martin. Mm-hmm. If you have to choose between rich and famous, pick rich. Right. And I think people mistakenly are going famous. Yeah. But you don't At realize there's a lot of ancillary stuff that goes along with with yes. famous. Well, and speaking of famous now, that we know her name, we do have a statement from the armorer, at least through her lawyer, 24-year-old Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. The problem with being an armorer, the problem with everything now is there's 500 pictures of her going Annie Oakley right. with a six-shooter. Like, yeah. You know, I mean, it could have been from Halloween Doesn't from matter. 2011. Sure. They just go, look at her. Yeah. That's the picture that they right. put up in the store. Of course. Right. So uh, there's going to be a pic, like there should just be a thing now when you turn 18 where you just go to the DMV and we get a picture of you here. Okay. Picture of you after you've murdered somebody. <laughs> picture of you after you've won the lottery. Sure. Picture of you after you've been indicted on racketeering. Sure. You know, With your coat over your head. Picture. Yeah. Here's a picture. You've been divorced. Yeah. Uh, high, publicized divorce. Here's a picture of you. We'll just, here's a picture. Well, stock photos. We'll put them all stock. Yeah. They'll be clearable. We'll just have them all, all there. We don't have to grab shit from Halloween. Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. So she is a so we're going with Gutierrez now? What was it? I always just heard what Holly Reed or whatever her name Gutierrez was. Gutierrez Reed. That's just how it's hyphenated. I've heard the three. Yeah. Um, she is, of course, one of the several people on the set that's being investigated. Her attorney says... Wait, that means yeah. she's married? 
Oh, or, or it was, was her parents. Oh, okay. That combined. We should figure it out because if that's your husband, now's time to go. Let's eh, go ahead. <laughs> you know what? Brevity's the soul yeah, of rant. Say. Let's just let's just keep it. I'm. You know what? You don't know how old fashioned and traditional I really am. Yeah. I'd you like to go back to back my name until out of now. That. <laughs> well, I've been doing a lot of soul searching and watching CNN. Her dad's name is Thel Reed. Oh, okay. Maybe some mom, maybe. Some mom, dearest. or is she married? I guess is the question. I'm trying to find that. Okay. okay well, while you do that, I'm 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 chopping down a lot of the quote because, of course, a lot of it is how devastated she is. Uh, but her attorney has uh, says that Hannah has no idea where the live ammunition came from and claims she was overruled by production officials when she asked for more time to prepare weapons and suggested giving actors firearms training. So that's where she's at, and she's being, you that's know. what they're doing the target practice. Well, and and much like she not speaking directly, apparently um, even Alex's uh, Instagram that was just, you know, uh, my heart goes out to the family. We are devastated. I am cooperating. That was deleted. Um, tweets of the links of, of, of stories that kind mm. of don't make him culpable. Those have been deleted. I think somebody got in his ear and said, just don't say anything. Oh, and th- and then he pulls over on the side of the road to answer questions, so, which I think he did well. The one thing you learn from Mark Ericos is don't say anything. Right. Even my heart goes out to the family. There's no. Uh, the, the problem is there is zero upside mm. from the good stuff because I'm devastated. My heart goes. That doesn't. Oh, does that mean you think you're responsible? Uh, uh, well, it does nothing in the court of law. That gets you nowhere. Sure. There's no upside, yeah. but they can cherry pick stuff yeah. and find stuff. I'm glad you said that. And I would love to get Mark's take on this because even though it was a different time, and of course we never treat her today like we treated her then, I've always wondered about what Monica Lewinsky, how she was told to act. Because they always said, you know, when you're being swamped now by the paparazzi, you put a smile on your face, you get in the car, you dry your tears, you save those for your pillow, and you put a smile on. And I, I'm like, how how could that not damage her? She's the young little harpy that, you know, a home wrecker and she's smiling and everything's okay. Why would they ever tell her to do that? How could that help her not to look, I don't know, uh, yeah. sullen mm-hmm. or something? I think there was a lot of tropes from the past, like we've discussed in previous episodes, where you come out and you make an apology and you read this, you know, pre-written slate and you, and, and all's going to be forgiven because you're probably, it doesn't work anymore. Like the old publicity stuff, most of that stuff is probably born in the forties and the thirties. Right. Like, how do we deal with fatty Arbuckle? <laughs> he's got to read a prepared statement, you know, or he's got to smile or whatever. Right. That That's a kind of old school way right, of doing right. it. And I think right. that's what's happening. Well, to your point at the beginning of the show from the forties to the eighties, didn't change much. They were still doing it, you know, or the yeah. 90s or whatever. The lawyers, eventually this gets down to uh, lawyer stuff. Right. And then it starts getting ugly. Do you think there's going to be any victim blaming in this particular case? Like she, well, the cinematographer's oh, not, sure. she was not well liked. <laughs> she got really up in there on those shots. Doubtful. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You'll unlike. see. Oh, I can't. I'm counting the days. Count the so days. You're right. Um, speaking of movies, you know how not too long ago we were asking whatever happened to Brandon Fraser? Yeah. He's back. Well, he is back with a vengeance. Mm-hmm. Turns out he's been very busy. Uh, Brandon has Not signed- married the, uh, the armorer, oh. mm, I guess. So that's the mom and dad's right, name. Sorry. Uh, Brendan has signed on to play the villain Firefly in the big screen version of Batgirl, which stars Leslie Grace in the title role. Deadline reports that Fraser has been- Quite, has had quite the resurgence in 2021 that began with him landing a lead role in Darren Aronofsky's film The Whale. After wrapping production on that, Martin Scorsese cast him for a key role in his next film, Killers of the Flower Moon, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro. He was also recently seen in Steven Soderbergh's No Sudden Move. Mm. Hmm. So he is back, baby. He's working again. And what is that? Is So everything's just a cycle. I guess. Everything is just, you flip a coin, it ends up being half heads, half tails, sure. but never 10 in a row, sure. one and he way was or the other. Never in any sort of hot water that I recall. I don't know, but as we always talk about, you drop out for six years right. and everyone yeah. just goes, well, you got me too. Did something. Sure, did yeah. something. Yeah. Did something. No, it's got to be a reason. It's Canadian. Good That's kid. That's right. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think we did this. If this starts to sound familiar, tell me immediately. But uh, worth noting, another big brawl happened recently, not at a football game, not at a baseball game. This was at a dog show. Mm. Uh, TMZ reports Cat that... Cat fight at a dog show. <laughs> Uh-oh. And we're, I'm just going to play you on mm-hmm. mute. I'm going to read so, you the story uh, while you see this It's a little brawl. more urban than you normally... And you guess what kind of dogs they're being shot? Uh, Rottweilers, pit bulls. <laughs> I'm going to... You, my friend, are some sort of a genius. Well, look... Uh, these aren't the Lhasa Opsos. No, these to. aren't the Maltese. Everybody who Chair, worries. People bashing chairs over people's heads. Okay. Let me just be frank here with okay. my audience, if right. I can, for one moment. <laughs> when there are uh, things that uh, seem, things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> oh, just make that You know up. what I mean? Where you go, a big Donnie Brook at a dog show. Mm-hmm. Now, everyone has a picture of the crowd in a dog show, <laughs> stately collies. older men and women dressed to yeah. the nines and things like that. And you go, doesn't seem like the brawling type of crowd. Now you hear brawl at a Dodgers game in the parking lot, and you go, okay, I got my Don mind Don. wrapped around that. But Larry you go, King and David Wilde <laughs> threw down. <laughs> right. But you go, brawl at the dog show. I cannot. Can't picture that because I have a picture in my head of a of a dog show. Uh, this got a little more players' ball in it than uh, dog show. This um, from a uh, er, it's got a little more of an urban vibe mm. to it. And then you kind of go, what are all these big black dudes into poodles for? But it was a. Let me confirm your 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 uh, guess. So TMZ reports that the fight went down at an event called the Miami Bully Takeover at the DoubleTree. <laughs> Uh, by the Miami airport, this a couple Saturdays ago. It appeared to be uh, started over a verbal argument between two women. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cat someone, fight yep, at the dog show. Someone in the crowd caught the chaos. We watched a little bit of it. Turned pretty violent. The footage shows two men striking each other. Another guy hits a guy with a chair. How oh, is this not a sting operation like your Raiders fan cockfight? Yeah, right. Yeah, hey, hey, Pitbull and Rottweil lovers mm-hmm. of Miami, of yeah. Miami. <laughs> Come so, on down. Uh, yeah, this, this another dude got stomped on the ground. It broke up a few seconds later. Another fight started in another area. Now, the bullies, those breeds are pit bulls, English bulldogs, boxers, rottweilers, all, all the... Th- that is what people, a lot of people refer to as pit bulls. Had to be liberating for the dogs that are traditionally used in dog fighting to just sit back... I- Pull up a chair and watch people fighting. Yeah. Many I don't people know if there's some gambling going down. <laughs> I don't know if they're hedging bats. Like I don't know who their favorites were, yeah. but it's it's a little turnabout, you yeah. know. And it's kind of refreshing. Cut to a Dober and turning a chair around. Well, well, well. <laughs> now you know how the tables have turned. <laughs> right. Where's Vic? He should be in this Donnie right. Brook somewhere. That's right. Yeah. Well, now when you first said. Dog show mm-hmm. fight. We won, huh? And now we know the breed of the dog. Mm-hmm. And if you know the breed of the dog, you'll know the breed of the owner. Sure. And that's uh, mm-hmm. that's how the math works. The self-selecting. Sample. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let's swing to the absolute opposite side of the news. A Florida elementary school is getting some strong pushback on social media for taking a class field trip to a local gay bar. Uh, the trip, which was also what sh- Miami, what else has to choose from? <laughs> That's right. It was chaperoned by a Broward County school board member. Uh, brought students at Wilton Manors Elementary to Roses or Rosie's Bar and Grill. Elementary. Yeah, but that seems oh, so wholesome. They got a patio. Yeah, it's wholesome. But I love the name of some of their uh, things on the menu. They have a Rhoda Cowboy, <laughs> Ivana Hooker, Georgia what? Blue. <laughs> Helena Bun and the the sauce is smack my cheeks and make them rosy. Um, it's unclear what the students were doing there, but the school board member Sarah Leonard, uh, Senator Lenardi, wrote on Facebook: "The students and I had a fun walk over and learned a lot about our community." Uh, yeah, I, you got to you got to figure this one's going to pop up on somebody's radar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Boy, yeah, that's a pretty gay clientele there. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it's, it's not like a debauched clientele. It's a brunch crowd. Yeah, it's a brunch crowd. Um, well, the, uh, it seems to be a little top heavy, by the way. Oh, I see that's what you how mean. I describe it. But um, the uh, 
the gays, it strikes me, they like their turn of phrases. You know, mm-hmm. they like all their Twinkies. A witty pun. And they love their puns and they love the gay. You know, it's like, well, what I'm saying is, is like, if you think about it, you take uh, bars. Mm-hmm. Heterosexual bars are just named after the guy who bought the bar, like right. Ralph's. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a boom. So, <laughs> play. Sometimes they'll have like the Tammy Shanter or right. the Gaslight or something. Right. Gay bars got the, they got mm-hmm. stuff worked in there. They're, they're very uh, Paul Lynn esque oh, or, or yeah. Nipsey Russell. You know, they, they, they like the phrases and the names and the titles. Hamburger Marys. It's kind of interesting how yeah. that how that works. Like, or just the menu. You yeah, know what menu's I mean? fantastic. You go to the straight bar menu. Some of them have a little of the novelty, but it's mainly just burgers, fries, yeah. or whatever names. Right. This is uh, they're they're a little more. I, I don't know. They Pithy. sort of they well they talk how they dress. You know what I mean? Like yeah. uh, why not? Why not? It's more fun. Yeah. Um, let's see. We have time for one more. Sure. All right. Police in Missouri would like to know who left their house in the middle of the street. Uh, the Greene County Sheriff's Office shared a photo on Facebook, and I'm showing that to you now, showing the mobile home abandoned on the road outside of Springfield. The home is on a trailer, but the hitch is propped up on cinder blocks. Ah, uh, rich man, poor man, moving your house. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Yeah, because it's either the double wide decrepit piece of shit Mm -hmm. that you can put up on a trailer Mm -hmm. and blocks and jack stands and physically move, or it's the stately Irish castle that's going to be taken apart block by block and piece by piece and reassembled in the Bay Area. Yes. You know what I mean? Like the big fireplace and everything. You know, it's yes. The moving of stuff is it's not a middle class kind of suburbia. Nobody moves. You don't move your your split ranch. Yeah. We could have the house I grew in, I grew up in. It was like uh, Brian's tumor. It was inoperable. <laughs> you couldn't have moved it because if you tried to move it, it would have fallen apart. Right. Like yeah. you would have. It would have been like <laughs> the. If you ever saw the movie Pepion, at some point he buys a boat and he just steps in it and his foot goes through the bottom of it in a swamp. That if you were to try to move Chris Carolla's house, you would try to jack it up. That would have fallen apart. Right. It did. It was like. Isn't roadworthy. Yeah, it was like an old person that fell down and you had to leave them there because right. you'd cause more damage trying to get them up and into the back of the car. Right. Yeah. So if anyone has any tips or information on whose house this belongs to, uh, the, the Green County Sher- uh, Sheriff's Office would like you to contact them. Yeah, it's a bad sign financially. And I've had this happen. I've had it happen with some friends and stuff, too. Financially, it's always a bad sign when you get your car towed mm. and it gets impounded and at some point the, someone goes, it's $389 to get it out. And you go, uh, is it worth it? Can I, can I take the stuff out of the glove box or <laughs> is that included? Because I, I don't think the car, let me check the Kelly blue book mm. here. Mm-hmm. Mm, the middle's at uh, two fifty nine. <laughs> Like, but when it comes to your house, yeah, that's bad financially. When it's easier just to walk oh, away, it's, it's going to be cheaper just to keep walking. Yeah, yeah. Good All point. right, let's bring it home. You got it. I'm Gina Grad, and that's the news. Ivana Hooker. Gina, Gina. That was the news with Gina Grad. Well, Marshall headphones, Marshall. Well, you know them. They've rocked the stages worldwide for over half a century, and now you can carry on this legacy and enhance your musical experience. I'm uh, holding their mini amp up right here. Look at that thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's heft, it's Brian. It's substantial. No, I've it. held it many times. I want this uh, thing, actually. This would be a good Christmas well, gift. This well, is a go buy your sweet... Own. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm speaking to the Marshall paper right now. Uh, this is a sweet like Bluetooth speaker, but it's like it's substantial. Yeah, and it's cool, and it's got the Marshall name on it. So uh, it's, uh, it's called the... Uh, Emberton. It's a compact, portable speaker with loud and vibrant sound. Only Marshall can deliver durable, up to 20 hours of playtime. And uh, again, the design, the look, the ergonomics, beautiful. Comes in forest green. That's the one I'm holding. Black and uh, black and brass and cream as well. It is beautiful. It is Marshall Headphones, right, Dawson? Get your own portable speaker today at marshallheadphones.com. Use code Corolla15 for 15% off any portable speaker at marshallheadphones.com. Had to be liberating for the dogs that are traditionally used in dog fighting to just sit back. Hey. 
pull up a chair and watch people fighting. Yeah. Many I don't people know if there's some gambling going down. <laughs> I don't know if they're hedging bats. Like, I don't know who their favorites were, yeah. but it's it's a little turnabout, you yeah, know, and it's kind of refreshing. Yeah.